Learning to code can feel overwhelming at first. There are hundreds of programming languages out there, and everyone seems to recommend something different. Some say start with Python, others say JavaScript is the way to go, and then you'll hear someone telling you to learn Java, or even something completely unexpected like Go or Ruby. So, which languages are the easiest to learn? In this video, we're going to explore the top easiest programming languages that you can pick up, understand, and start building projects with, even if you've never written a line of code before. We'll not only list the languages, but also dive into why they're considered easy, where they are used, and how learning them can help you move forward in your career. I'll share some personal thoughts, comparisons, and practical examples to make this feel like a story, not a boring lecture. So, grab your headphones, sit back, and let's talk coding. Before we jump into the list, let's set the stage. What does easy really mean in programming? For beginners, a language is considered easy when the syntax is simple and doesn't feel like math equations. It's forgiving, meaning small mistakes don't instantly break everything. There are tons of tutorials, resources, and community support. You can actually see results quickly like building a website, a game, or a simple app. With that in mind, let's look at the top easiest programming languages you can learn. Let's start with Python. If programming languages were foods, Python would be something like plain rice, simple, widely loved, and goes with everything. Python is often the very first language people recommend, and for good reason. The syntax looks like plain English. Instead of writing 10 confusing lines, you might only need one or two simple ones. That makes it super friendly for beginners. But don't let its simplicity fool you. Python is powerful. It's used in data science, machine learning, web development, automation, AI, scientific research, and even game development. If you're someone who wants quick results like building a small project or analyzing data, Python gives you that satisfaction fast. And since the community is huge, you'll never run out of tutorials, forums, or free guides. So, Python is definitely one of the easiest and best starting points. Next up is JavaScript, the language of the web. If you've ever opened a website, chances are JavaScript was running behind the scenes, making buttons clickable, forms interactive, and animations smooth. What makes JavaScript easy is that you don't need to install a lot of complicated stuff. You already have a browser, and that's enough to start coding. You can open a console and start experimenting right away. Another big advantage is the instant visual feedback. When you change something, you see it immediately on the screen. That sense of progress motivates beginners. The downside? JavaScript can feel messy at times because it has grown and evolved over decades. But overall, it's still one of the most beginner-friendly languages, especially if your dream is to become a web developer. Ruby is like that underrated gem not everyone talks about, but those who do absolutely love it. It's famous for its elegant and human-readable syntax. In fact, Ruby's creator wanted to make programming feel fun and natural. If Python is simple English, Ruby feels like English with a bit of poetry. Ruby is often used in web development, especially with the Rails framework, which powers websites and startups around the world. Although Ruby isn't as popular as it once was, it's still a fantastic first language for beginners because it teaches clean coding habits without overwhelming complexity. Now, let's take a step back and talk about something different. Scratch. Scratch isn't a traditional programming language, but a visual one designed for kids and beginners. Instead of typing code, you drag and drop colorful blocks to build games and animations. Some people underestimate it, but honestly, Scratch is brilliant. It teaches you the core concepts of coding, like loops, conditions, and logic, without scary syntax errors. If you've never coded before, Scratch can give you that confidence boost and foundational knowledge that transfers to other languages later. Yes, I know people love to make jokes about PHP, but let's be honest. It's one of the easiest languages to pick up, and it powers a huge portion of the web, including WordPress. What makes PHP beginner-friendly is that you can write a little bit of code, save it, refresh your web page, and instantly see the result. It's direct, simple, and gives beginners a quick reward system. If your goal is to work with websites, especially with WordPress or basic backend development, PHP is worth checking out. Swift is Apple's programming language, mainly used for iOS and macOS apps. Apple designed Swift with beginners in mind. The syntax is clean, it catches errors before your program even runs, and you get instant feedback using the Swift Playgrounds app. If you dream of building iPhone or iPad apps, Swift is probably the easiest way in. On the Android side, we have Kotlin. Google officially supports it as the main language for Android apps. Kotlin is much simpler than Java, the language that Android apps used to rely on. Its syntax is shorter, cleaner, and more beginner-friendly. So if mobile development excites you and you're leaning toward Android, Kotlin is one of the easiest modern languages to start with. Go or Golong was developed by Google. At first glance, you might think it's more advanced, but actually, it's surprisingly beginner-friendly. Its syntax is minimal and straightforward. Plus, it runs very fast. Go is great for those who want to get into back-end development, cloud computing, 
or systems programming without diving into something as intimidating as C or C++. It's not as popular for beginners as Python or JavaScript, but it's definitely one of the easier, serious languages you can learn. So which one is the easiest? Honestly, it depends on your goal. If you want versatility and simplicity, start with Python. If you want to build for the web, go for JavaScript. If you want to play around and learn concepts visually, try Scratch. If you want to build mobile apps, Swift or Kotlin are your friends. If you want a fun and elegant introduction, check out Ruby. If you want to quickly get into website building, don't underestimate PHP. And if you want something clean and modern, Go is a great option. The truth is, the easiest programming language is the one that matches your goals and keeps you motivated. Once you start learning and building projects, you'll naturally pick up new languages along the way. So there you have it, the top easiest programming languages to learn. If you're just starting your journey, remember, don't stress too much about the perfect language. Pick one, stick with it long enough to build something cool, and you'll already be ahead of most beginners. Now tell me in the comments which language are you starting with, or which one do you think is the easiest? I'd love to hear your story. And if you enjoyed this guide, make sure to subscribe, because we've got more long-form programming content coming your way.